This is Rusty with Atomic Super Geek, and we're going to go look at something else in Photoshop Elements for today. In this photography group that I'm a part of, they've been talking a lot about how to apply a watermark to a photo. They want to be able to take the photo and to put it up on the web without somebody grabbing it and using it just willy-nilly wherever they want to. But they want the people to be able to see it. So I've got a photo here. This is one of, one of my daughters. And uh, let's say I want to go ahead and post it up on the web. And it's a cute picture, and I want to show it to my photography group and such. So I'm going to put it up on my Flickr account. But I don't want it to suddenly show up in some sort of a magazine or something like that. So I'm going to put a watermark across it so that I can show the other people my work without it being taken. Well, there's probably a number of different ways to do this, but here's the way that I've come up with to, to put some really decent watermarking on. What we're going to do is we're going to make a brand new um, image here, and I'm going to simply going to call it watermark. And when we look down here, I've got 1280 by 720 because that just happens to be the uh, height and width of the last thing that I had actually done, and that's fine. It's a, it's a decent size, and and things will work well. Now, when it first opens up, it comes in with a background layer that's filled with white. Now, the background layer really limits us in some ways, and so we want to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is go over to the background layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the layer, <clears throat> and what this is going to do is allow us to make a new layer. And I'm just going to call my new layer Main. Now when you double click on it to create a new layer, <clears throat> what happens is the, the background layer goes away, which is fine. Now in this layer, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Select, All, and then I'm going to hit the delete key. And what that does is gets rid of the fill that was left over there so that we have a completely clear background. This is really cool. I like this. And I'm going to hit escape to, to get rid of that selection. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to come over here to my text tool. And if I click and hold for a moment, it pops up the little submenu. You can see I've got horizontal and vertical type tools, but then I've got a horizontal and vertical type mask tool. And what these allow us to do is to go ahead and put a mask in in the shape of text. And I'm going to go ahead back out here and I'm going to click out in the middle of, of my area and I'm simply going to put copyright atomic super geek. Okay. And I can go I can go ahead and select this text and come up above here. I can center it. And so now I've got this text here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come back up here in my tools and select the move tool just so that it's it's out of that other tool. And when you look down here now what we've got is our outline or our selection for those words. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to fill this because the, the I made this shape so that I can do some more stuff with it. If you look, I've got the, the green and black custom colors that are Atomic Super Geek. Go up a little bit above it. I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool and I'm simply going to fill this with, with the green. Okay, and there we go. So I've got Atomic Super Geek in green. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to go back up to Image, Transform, Free Transform. And what that's going to do is allow me to take this, this uh, shape, or these words, I'm going to move them way up in the upper left corner, and then I'm going to make it really big so it's filling up the entire palette here. We're getting a lot closer. Now, at this point, what I want to do is hit Enter to lock it to where it's at now. And I could use this the way it is, but the thing with watermarks is that there are some programs that will get rid of them, in, and the more standard the watermark is, the easier it is to get rid of it. So I want to add kind of some texturing to these words. And we're going to do some more stuff later, too, but I'm going to add some texturing to these words. So I'm going to go up to Filter. And I'm going to go down to Artistic, and I'm going to go ahead and cho choose Rough Pastels. Now, in, in Photoshop Elements 4, when you choose that, it actually brings up the whole window to, to take a look at different uh, artistic 
filters that you've got. And, and you could select different ones and kind of take a look at them. But I love rough, rough pastels because if you look at it here, the letters are still green. And actually, they're the green and the black, which we like. But it's kind of all mixed in there. So it's really hard to just kind of make a, a very generic selection. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So I've, now I've got this uh, uh, copyrighted Atomic Super Geek that's kind of all mixed up there. I'm going to hit Escape to, to get rid of that selection in. Now, we've made the watermark that we're going to use. The next step is simply going to be um, to apply it. And we want to apply it over here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is on the photo that I want to actually put the watermark on, I'm going to make a new layer. And for this one, I'm actually going to go up to the button here for create a new layer. And it's going to put another layer on top of the first. Now, what I'm going to come do is come over here, back to my watermark. I'm going to go select all. And it selects this. Then I'm going to go edit, copy. Now, I'm going to go back to the photo that I want to mar watermark. Make sure my layer is still selected that I want to put this watermark into. I'm going to go edit, paste. And it puts it over it. Now, in this case, the photo is bigger than my watermark image. And what I can do is I can go up to Image, Transform, Free Transform, and I can actually stretch this more now and kind of get it so that it's uh, you know more obtrusive. Now, this is really getting in the way, and... I don't want it quite that bold, but we'll fix that in just a second. So I'm going to get this exactly where I want. The idea with the watermark, though, is you want to make sure it goes over some parts of the photo. I'm going to hit Enter now so that it places it. Now, the last thing I'm going to do so that this isn't quite so in your face <clears throat> is I'm going to go back over here to the Layers area. I'm still on Watermark. and I'm going to go into my Opacity, and I'm actually going to turn my Opacity down just a touch just so that it's more of a watermark, more of, more of a just a just a subtle kind of thing over the top of it, so that if somebody tries to grab this photo and use it, it they've got this annoying copyright Atomic Super Geek on it, but um, they can still see the photo. So I like that. It's about about 46 percent. That's really good. So it's really obvious that this is a copyrighted photo, but I can still put it up, get opinions from people on it in my photography group on the web, show some other people. Or if I was to put up a website where I would be selling them, I could put these up there <clears throat> for people to take a look at before. And then when they go through to, to order the real one, they would get that. And of course, I would just simply save this as. I would go up to File, Save As. And then <clears throat> I want to make sure to select the JPEG format. And the other thing I'm going to make sure to do then, of course, is in here where it says include an organizer, I'm going to take that off because I don't want my watermarked version in my organizer because I'm not going to edit it anymore like that. If I edit the photo, I'm going to have to make a new watermarked version. And then I've got <clears throat> this subfolder here called exported JPEGs, which is the one place that I put all my photos that I'm going to stick up out on the web. And of course, I'm just going to hit save and save that off. Um, oh, saying I already have one by that name. Let's go ahead and just change the name once um, to a two, just to make it easy. There we go. And that's how in Photoshop Elements 4, and of course this will work with the GIMP, Photoshop, um, PS or CS4, CS3, all these, anything with layers, PaintShop Pro, where you could add a watermark to your photo.